Ladies and gentlemen, do I have a video for you today. Imagine with me for just a moment, the program we have come to love and adore, Canva. Imagine if it were made specifically for video. Still just as easy to use, just as magnificent of templates, but all for video. Well, it's not Canva, but I've found a program that works just like Canva for video. It is incredible with some insane templates, over 4,000 templates. And guys, today we're gonna go ahead and make our Twitch channel trailer. Let's go. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Hills and I am your content cleric. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at an incredibly powerful web-based editor. And it is literally insane. And the amount of stuff you can do even for free is legitimately insane. You can make this entire channel trailer for free. Um, they have sponsored this video. They contacted me and man, I am so glad they did because I am just blown away by this video. I posted a video that I made on this on Twitter the other day and asked if you guys would like a tutorial and the answer was overwhelmingly yes. Um, so, well, that's what we're gonna do today. So let's quit rambling on about it and let's just, let's let's get to it. By the way, guys, if you're not already, make sure you follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So if you'd like to learn more about stuff like this, you just want to hang out while we play a little bit of GTA role play uh, or a little bit of Apex, something like that. Hey, come hang out with me sometime. And if you haven't already, make sure you sub to this channel. Uh, we make videos just like this every single week to help you succeed as a streamer on an absolute budget. Okay, guys, had to cut there just for a second. I did not realize that you have to use Chrome for this to work. So you have to load up, load it up in Chrome. Uh, it's not a problem. I just mainly use Opera because I can limit how much usage and stuff it has while I'm streaming. Uh, but anyway, no worries. We're back in Chrome. Now let's take a look at the website. So the very first thing you're gonna see uh, when you come in is you're gonna see your drafts up here. So these are different little things I've worked on. Um, then you're gonna see your pre-made templates, which guys, over 4,000 templates. You know you know my love for templates, guys. Uh, even if you are the greatest designer in the world, templates just save you so much time, okay? Uh, so you got templates. You also have text to video. Um, and anything you wanna kind of preview and, and look at, you can just click on. Um, and then it'll start playing right here so you can get an idea of what this is. And so I think you'd use these for like little YouTube videos, maybe where you wanna do a, a voiceover and stuff like that. You can have text kind of pop up as the video's playing. Um, but we're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna be even pre-made templates, but if you want to start all the way from blank and, and do all your video editing right here in browser, uh, you could do that with the blank canvas. Uh, but again, we're gonna start over here with the pre-made templates because y'all know your boy loves some templates. Okay, they save you some time. Uh, mainly is, is you're gonna look for what kind of fits your brand. So I like to scroll through here and see all the new stuff that's out. Um, and just see what's there. I kind of like this one. It said minimalism. I am. I love minimalism in design. So let's just take a look. Nice kind of text just kind of flows in. You have these three little blocks. This looks really nice. Um, I don't necessarily know how we would use this for a channel trailer like we're wanting to make today, um, but I'm sure it's possible and I'm sure it would come out looking really, really good. Uh, but that's not what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna click this little button to, to scroll around. I kind of like the way this looks. Remember, we're just looking at the overall look, okay? Um, because we can go and pretty much edit and change everything. And I can see real potential here, guys, um, with this one. Yeah, look at all these. You have all your different clips kind of playing, the different games you play um, up there in the top. Um, there you go, another one, just have a little bit of information coming in right here, a video that you're of a game or a clip that you're playing. Yeah, you can see this being uh, really, really nice. It's only 19 seconds, but I'll show you how when we get in there, we can duplicate different scenes. Um, now, when I clicked on this one, this one immediately caught my, caught my attention. Oh man, if you're a retro gamer, how is this not your channel trailer if you're a retro gamer? Even if you're not, man, if this fits your style, this is so good. In this little TV, obviously have clips of different things happening in game, uh, a little bit of information maybe about the channel, uh, just throw in some stuff, whatever you want. This is such a good template, guys. Such, such a good template. Look how it just kind of falls into place. This one is so good, guys. All right, uh, anyway, what I would do, again, I would just kind of keep scrolling through, looking at the different stuff, find a template that really fits um, my brand. And there's a ton, like I said, there's over 4,000 templates to choose from guys. Um, seriously, this is insane what all you can do. 
Um, but anyway, if you're not finding anything here, you're more than welcome to search. Now, I don't know. I haven't done a ton of searching, uh, but let's say we want to look up something like Fortnite and just see if anything, and nothing may come up. We'll see. Okay. Actually, something came up. Let's see. That's kind of cool looking. Oh, man. That's slick, isn't it? Nice. All right. So this is like a game announcement, uh, but I could definitely see using this as some sort of a uh, stream announcement or or anything else. I mean, a lot of potential there. A live stream starting soon. Oh, nice. A starting soon screen. There we go. Throw your own video in the background. Uh, maybe you can edit this timer or something to start a little bit higher. Um, and you have, may have a starting soon screen right there. All right. Let's jump over to gaming. Um, because I know the video I'm going to use, the template I'm going to use today is right here, but there's even a Minecraft themed intro. If you're a Minecraft streamer, uh, this may be great for you. Use something like this, uh, gaming YouTube reveals, all this kind of stuff. Um, I will say this guys, before I jump into the actual tutorial, this will be the one that we're using today. Um, but I have a, a ton of ideas of different ways that we can use this platform, not only using templates, but also creating things ourselves that we can use on stream, things like uh, pop-ups and lower thirds and intros and outros and starting soons and be right backs and, and different things that we can use this for. Um, if you would like to see more videos with us using NVIDIA and, and just exploring how we can creatively use this software to make really, really cool stuff, um, if you want to learn more about that kind of stuff, make sure you leave it in the comments down below and let me know if you want to see more in video videos because I have a ton of really good ideas. And guys, I will say there's a ton you can do for free, but also if you want the pro account, it's only like $15 a year and you get access to all kinds of like stock videos and, and different copyright free music and stuff like that to use in your videos. And I will have an affiliate link down below if you guys uh, want to look into that. But with that said, let's keep going with this tutorial. This is what I wanna do is this Valorant FPS gaming intro. You can watch right here. I think it looks really good, right? This one I feel like it's really kind of set itself up. And this is the one I made that I put out on Twitter and asked if you guys wanted to see a tutorial and everyone said yes. So I think this one is just mm, so clean, looks so good. Let's use this template. All right, guys, now this loaded in, we can see a, a few things here. Here's our main working window, right? Um, and over here we have all of our layers, which is really nice because if you want to edit something, you can just click it just like that. Um, now you see how it kind of jumped off. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it does seem, I've done a little testing does seem to still be working fine. So I'm gonna change that to, you know, Dr. Heels. I'll change this to the studio one, click up here and, um, you know, I, I don't, let's just live now. I don't know. We're just, we're throwing in text right there. Be sure to follow like that. And look at that, you see how it resized down? I think that's such a nice feature um, that it was, you know, that big text. And then whenever it was too long to fit, it just sized itself down automatically. It's such a great feature. Other things they need to implement. Um, but yeah, we can try to change up everything here. Um, in a moment, I'll show you how to put in your own video, where how to download your own video, and then how to pop it in there. Um, but let's take a look and get kind of an idea of what all's going on here. Um, down here, we have our, our different scenes. So here we have scene one, we have scene two, scene three, scene four, right? Um, we can also duplicate any of these scenes to kind of keep it going on and make it longer um, just by clicking this button right here. We can add a scene from the template. We can go over and, and choose whichever scene we want it to be. Uh, so let's click view scenes. And so now we see all the different scenes and say we want to duplicate and we want, you know, this one again. Um, got it. Yep. Yep. And there we go. Add the new scene. Um, and oh, sorry, it added it in the wrong place. Let me delete that one. And then grab this one. I'm just going to drag it right there to where I want it. And I've created that new scene. And so you can see how we can keep adding and adding and adding to make it as long as we want. Right. All right. With that said, let's get back here and just work on editing this scene. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, sorry, click on uploads. And here we would upload our own video. And so it's pretty easy. Go and uh, go to your Twitch, right? So slash Dr. Heels, or, you know, obviously go to your Twitch. Um, and when it loads up, to pause we're gonna go to videos um, scroll down to see clips click view all um, go through and find whatever clip you would like to use um, then back here on the end video you could go to upload media you know navigate to your your downloads or wherever it is that you have it saved um, and select that particular video now I've already uploaded a few uh, because I did some toying around with this 
Um, but from here, you could take and drag this and just lop it in uh, to the scene. Now here, you're gonna get your trim settings, right? So um, I know right over here, I go and make a boo-boo. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna trim it right around to that area. Um, and something else really nice, right here is where the scene, the current scene will end. And so I know I need to trim it back to that spot. And that's the exact length of that current scene. So I'm just gonna click done, just like that. Um, and I'm going to size it up um, and replace it there and make it fit right there. So another thing I can do is, now I'm gonna delete this one that was there. Um, And delete that old one just like that all right so now we've kind of replaced this now let's watch this scene back and there we go a transition to the next one and so that is just kind of your little cover scene i'm going to go a little forward where i can see everything and up here i'm going to say um uta rp and over here i'm going to say uh ems and I don't know, I'm just throwing random text in here, but you guys kind of see how this would work. Okay, there we go. Throw that in there, just like that. Um, with your media, I really thought there was like an easier way to replace a video and maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. This time we're gonna grab this video that we want to pull in, uh, trim it, here's the time we have. So I'm gonna trim forward until it gets to the part where I know that I, I jump out and I do something super embarrassing, like right around here. And I'm gonna trim through and make sure I capture the part that I want where, yes, the ambulance goes over the edge. And that will trim this all the way back down. See how easy this is? This would be so easy just to edit videos into. Um, so we're gonna click done and I'm gonna size it back up. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to replace the video, but guys, it, this is easy enough, honestly. And I'm just gonna delete that old one um, and there. And so let's just, I think this button, where's it? this one? This one plays that scene from the start. There it is. And I get to see the name. Let's go right over the edge. And here we go. And now we're on to the scene. And guys, you see how we're just like flying through this? Uh, again, go and change things however you want. I'm gonna say Ambo driver. And look, it's gonna resize itself down because it's a legend. Change that to be whatever you want. And now we're gonna change um, this particular video. And so this time we're gonna try to drag it over that. Yeah, there we go. See how we drag it over and it's just gonna replace that. That's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, I'm a dummy and I didn't do that with the other ones, but oh well. All right, I'm gonna go to where I know I do something super embarrassing, right, right here. I wanna see if this guy's okay because I just saved his life. And then something silly happens. Done, right? Uh, I'm not even driving an ambulance in this scene, go figure. All right, and you press this one to play that scene from the start, you just watch it back. Yeah. So there you go. You see guys, we're just like flying through this. This is so easy. Um, and kind of same thing here, obviously change that to whatever you want. Pick the new video that you want to use. Um, and we'll go back with this one, right? I'm gonna hover over, we'll click replace. Uh, obviously trim it to where you want. Figure out where I do something silly. Right around here looks good. Um, oh, maybe I need to go back a little further to fit that in. Yep. And that's, I'm just making sure that current scene lines up. I'm um, gonna click done, and there we go. Automatically replace it, play it from the beginning. Make sure it looks exactly how you want it to. Um, but yeah, super, super easy, as you guys can see. I'm just gonna scroll a little ahead. I don't actually want this video anymore. Um, so we're gonna get rid of that. And, and there we go. Essentially, we could use this exact method to create our uh, our Twitch trailer and it would come out looking so so good. You can add in obviously uh, in these scenes add in any information that you want to include um, Maybe about your channel about what you're doing uh, put in your own clips um, include the necessary information Under logo here. Um, I can click this one and upload my logo, but I have my, my logo like right here So I just drag this logo in uh, pop it in. I'm gonna size it down a little um, you can have your logo, you can go under music right here, look at all the different music they have. This is all copyright free music. Um, I am one of the only people in the world, but I am a fan of country. So I could go here and listen to some 
you know, whatever music I want to play, obviously would not fit the context of this video, uh, but they have rock, chill, cinematic, pop, hip hop, wh whatever you're into. They have music, um, there's different images and things you can use. There's also video, so you could almost create um, entire like YouTube videos and stuff in here just using um, these videos. Now these videos are all limited to the pro account, which by the way, I'll have the affiliate code down below if you want to upgrade to that. Um, but once you're done here, guys, all you've got to do is download um, and share. You can export it at 720 for free, which is plenty. But if you want to do 1080, it is going to upgrade that to premium. Link down below. Um, upgrade uh, for free or you can export it for free with a watermark, which, you know, kind of comes with it. But either way, you come out with a really, really cool looking video. But that's it, guys. It's as easy as that. And I will say I have a ton of other ideas that we can use in video for. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you comment down below and let me know uh, that you want to see more videos using this particular software. And by the way, guys, if you use this tutorial to make something really cool, make sure you join the Discord and share it in the share your art category. I love to see what you guys are making using these tutorials. Uh, it really gives me inspiration on what else to make and other things to do. And guys, I really do appreciate y'all watching this video. All right, guys, and just as you saw there, super easy to make a really complex video. It would be really hard to make that video literally anywhere else. We're using any other software and you're able to do it in just a few minutes on NVIDIA, which is incredible. But to even top it off on that, NVIDIA has a massive community um, behind it of other like marketing experts and content creators and stuff like that, which I will have the communities linked down below if you guys want to join those communities, see what others are making, how they're using this incredible software um, to grow their brands. I will have that link down below, guys, because hey, there is a ton of knowledge in community. Just see how other people are using it um, and utilizing the tools and features will help you go a long, long way. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you sub to the channel. We're making videos just like this every single week using other free and inexpensive tools like Canva and InVideo and Photopea and all kinds of other design softwares uh, to help you build really awesome stuff that you can grow your stream on a budget. Make sure you follow me over on Twitch. Also, over at twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, we play a lot of games, have a lot of fun. We also talk design and do live things like this. If you have questions about anything, I'm willing to do it online as well. Um, but guys, I appreciate you. Hope you all have a blessed day. Hey, keep on keeping on. Hug that corner, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.